Shelby, Shelby Ribble. Shelby Ribble. Shelby Ribble. Welcome to the In Cahoots podcast, Shelby Ribble. Thank you Everybody, for having me. Round of applause on a podcast. There's no audience. I wrote but a thank lot. Thank you for doing this. I wrote a lot of emails and thank you for finally responding and saying that I could come on and talk about horticulture. Uh, yeah. You know, In Cahoots podcast, CC at. Or no, it's just incahootscc at gmail.com. Oh, we're so bad about remembering the email here. I emailed everything that I could that had any combination of those letters at all, just in case. So, oh, really? Just in case. Did you get any other replies? I got a few. A few? I have a couple other podcasts booked. Please do please do tell. I got to spread the good word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what is the word you're spreading? It's time to plant. It's planting season. Let's get some peas. Let's lay down some peas. Spring is sprung. Let's spring it. Wow. Spring a lang. Wow. Spring a langin. Wow. I I feel like your garden just blossoms when you're when you walk into it. Your your energy is so it's so springtime. Thank you, Buttercup. Are you flirting? Are you flirting with Shelby? <laughs> no, no, ma'am. Shelby? No, I have a girlfriend. She just left. Oh, she just left. She just left. Shelby, no. Shelby doesn't have a boyfriend anymore. Shelby. What happened to your boyfriend? Oh, you know boys come and go like the seasons okay all right well we'll Mm -hmm. i'll ask about that again later (laughs) okay see if we can get some more answers out so shelby Mm. please please tell me you're a big fan of spring yes uh what is your favorite part of spring oh sowing and reaping sowing and reaping maybe just the reaping that part's my favorite with the reaping uh, but okay but the sowing sowing's all right the sowing's all right but it's the reaping it's the reaping that I really, really like. All right. I, I guess I, everyone's got to have a hobby. Thank you. So, Thank you know, you, reaping. So what, what are Thank you, you sowing and reaping this, this year? What is, what is in the, the garden of Shelby Ripple this, uh, this 2024? <laughs> What's in my garden? Oh, tomatoes. Tom- tomatoes, sure tomatoes they're like tomatoes oh but they're a little they got a little bit of shelby in them it's a shelby tomato shelby, yeah. i see is did yeah. i say that right yeah. tomato i cry into the soil and they come up more more juicified wow yeah. is it it's juiced with your tears yes what, okay yes is there you can sp- really uh, taste I, you can really taste the ire and the the frustration I would love the to taste tears it of frustration. Sometime. No, tears. I would love to bring you some I, tomatoes. I would, a tomato sounds yes. pretty refreshing. Yeah. I'm like a BLT. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to put a tomato on? Oh, I like to grind it into a juice, make my own homemade V8. <laughs> now, now, do you put that in like Bloody Marys or is this your pure, pure V8 tomato juice pure and pure and simple but sometimes when shelby's feeling a little crazy she'll do all vodka just a little bit of tomatoes okay a little little brunch time with shelby (laughs) ripple (laughs) yes wow all right i'd love to be invited for that what else is in your garden oh gosh um weed (laughs) i'm now shelby are you Um, I'm kidding. I'm kidding around. Are, are you kidding? I'm kidding around. You sure there's not a single bud in there? There might be. Oh, my goodness, I would not Shelby. Pull them out. They're like wow. weeds. I don't even know. I don't even know. My, <laughs> my son, he, I don't know. He's got a green thumb? He's got a green thumb. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, jokes aside, mm-hmm. what else do you have besides tomatoes and the marijuana we won't tell the, oh, I the got, officers about? I got blueberries 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 now is that a special variation on a normal blueberry or is that just Regular how you blueberries, say it? Okay, Corey. excellent just wanted to check <laughs> what variation could there be on blueberries well you know if you cry mm. into the tomatoes no it's not the same with blueberries okay no you can't cry I, change I their mind I, okay they do what they do the blueberries they have minds of their little own oh my goodness yeah what a, Sometimes what a, they whisper. What do they things. tell you? Let's come here, come here, Shelby. Get him, get him, Shelby. Oh. Stuff like that. All right. Well, writing that down is another thing we need to ask Shelby Ripple about oh, later. Oh, ask the, the blueberries the about it. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. <laughs>
those dastardly blueberries. blueberries? I understand. Mm-hmm. Blueberries. Mm-hmm. Did I say that right? Blueberries. blueberries. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All so right. I so you like got to. tomatoes, yeah. blueberries, mm-hmm. and uh, what else is? Oh, uh, I'm yeah. sowing my oats. You're you're so you're growing oats. Oats. Wow. How <laughs> how big is your garden? It's acres. Acres. More than one. But it's not a farm. It's it's a plot. It's it's a plot. It's a plot. Okay. And it Got thickens. It. The, <laughs> that's that's a it good thickens. one. That's a good one, <laughs> Shelby Ripple. All right, she got a quick oh. win on her. Oh, oh, Corey flirting again. <laughs> okay. Don't tell my girlfriend. Oh, I'm, I will. <laughs> we made a threesome. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm I'm joshing around. Wow. I All would right. never. I'm a very monogamy. I you're, one you're on one, very, yeah. one on one for Shelby. There's no, mm-hmm. there's no room for more. Mm-hmm. Is this for me? That is for you, oh, Shelby sh- Ripple. A nice well, old fashioned. Wow. A, Don't uh, call me old fashioned. A, uh, no, never. I'm a young fashion. Mmm, 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 mmm. I so. Uh, so oats i so doubts in the minds of my enemies oh my wait hold on wait, who are your enemies oh everybody has enemies everyone has enemies everybody i don't think i have any enemies cory shelby are you flirting with me i'm not flirting with you <laughs> okay i promise who are your enemies shelby what uh, who uh, ah, what could anyone have done to a sweet old lady I like you no that's what i'm saying oh there's just some some old boyfriends. We don't need to talk about old them. Old boyfriends. Shep and Hank. And, okay. And Drisky. And Vance. Drisky sounds like a wild one. Drisky's tame as tame as a as a as a colt that you cornered, that you pissed off with a bee, as they say. So that sounds pretty not tame mm-hmm. it's okay good. my southern is coming out as we go i know i think it's the old-fashioned so, I've, been li- I've been living in the east coast <laughs> but i grew up and miss it so you start drinking i start drinking comes out a little, coming bit. Back. A little bit a little I bit understand. a little bit for sale, a little bit oh i understand yeah so what's the key to getting a good harvest uh, in the spring, when when you when you have to harvest in the fall, what what do you do in the spring that really makes the the most bountiful harvest that you can have? <laughs> no, I know you're flirting. Oh my, I guess, uh, Shelby I, Ripple, <laughs> oh, Cor, Cor, Corby, you remind me of my first husband. May he rest in peace. May he so rest. So back to my question. May he rest in the peas. In the peas. <laughs> In the peas. Ooh. Do you grow peas? I grow some peas and some beans. A delicious, delicious, good for good for the vascular system. Okay. Mm-hmm. A little green bean casserole at uh, Thanksgiving? Disgusting. That, that what, you do? what? That's my favorite one. You do remind me of my first husband. So what do you do in the spring to make sure that you have a bountiful harvest in the fall? Oh, I w- water myself do with... Physically or spiritually? I sweat. I go in the garden and I do yoga and I wait until I perspire. And then I let that soak into the soil mm. and the soil and I become one and I do it naked and I smear a little bit of it on myself and I really taste it. And that's I can taste the acidity in the soil and, and how much it needs for me to grow. Mm. How much sweat, how much yoga, how much, how much of my juices does the soil need? Uh, so... We've already already established that the tears go into the tomatoes, mm-hmm. and the rest of them are covered in sweat. So yoga sweat. A yoga sweat. What yoga other? Yoga sweat. That's my uh, channel on YouTube. Yoga sweat. What other juices uh, make it into <laughs> make it into your garden every year, Shelby? Corby, Corby. Mm. There's some special lady thing. I could a chef can't tell all her secrets. Oh my God, Shelby, you tease. Um. I've been known. I've been known to be a little frisky. In there. 
in the garden. What else is in the garden? Shelby? Oh, uh, sorry, I went off there for a moment. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of a lot of calcium, I think. Calcium? Yeah. Helps the blueberries. Yeah, it helps everything. It helps grow, it grow helps, strong. It helps Shelby juicy. grow as a person. Mm-hmm. It helps Shelby move on mm-hmm. with her life. Mm-hmm. If if they just didn't piss Shelby off, I uh, the the germaniums. I also grow flowers. Beautiful. Beautiful flowers. Every garden needs a few flowers. Every funeral needs a few flowers. What did you say? Not what I said. Oh, great! Every Shall garden. We? Where do you so? Where do you sell your uh, your your farmers market? Crowd? You go to the farmers market. You got a little market, stand. Raise the roof. I feel ooh, like. Ooh. Uh, give me some give me some hot gossip from the farmer's market. What's going hot on there the these days? Because I heard a, a pretty wild rumor. I, I, what did you well, hear? Well, I'd love to hear what you heard <laughs> first, and then I'll tell you what I heard. <laughs> Is it about Deb? Deb? Is it about Deb? I, I have not. I haven't heard of a Deb. Is it about Shep? I have not heard about Shep. Hmm, Is it about Deb and Shep? Deb and Shep. No, Deb I Shep? have. I No. Shep. We call him Shep. That's it's their couple about, name, Sheb, Deb, and uh, Deb and Sheb. Oh, it's about those garden tools I have. They have a lot of red stuff on them in the shed. No, the is ones it, covered is, in strawberries. Is strawberries, strawberries as ripe as the day that God made them, and 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 raspberries like little toes on babies' feet. They fit perfectly. Little rasp, little raspberries. You little eat them off. Booze. Oh. <laughs> Yum. You ever so what, you ever feed a raspberry to a wombat? I have not. You no. have not no. lived. Uh, you fed a raspberry to a wombat? I've fed many raspberries to many wombats. How many different animals have you fed raspberries to? Wombats and also bat bats. Bat bats. Bat wombats. Bats. bats love fruits. They and they do. they love to come yeah. after me in the rafters. But if if you can calm down with some raspberries, mm. yeah, mm-hmm. it, it, it hurts the preserves. I can't bring as many to the farmers market, but the bats are happy. If the bats are happy. Then Shelby's happy. That's then good. Sh- Shelby's son is happy. Mm-hmm. He he lives with me. He's such a peach. He's just a little sweet baby boy. Well, like, does he help out around the garden? Oh no, he has video games to play. Mm. He's a Red Dead's and Redemptions and and, mm-hmm. and 3D glasses and and yeah, he's a busy boy. Mm-hmm. He's a busy boy. Mm-hmm. He's only 42. He's a busy boy. Yeah. What's he think of your boyfriends? Oh, I think he misses some of them, but I think he understands that they gotta go. Where where'd they go, Miss Shelby? Into the garden of life. Out into the garden of life. Probably the circle of life as well, because they're out there all watering the seeds of a new day. Is what I imagine. So I wanted to bring you here because because of the rumor. To ask that me I on heard the around the, the farmer's market. You heard I'm a real tallywhacker in the you old see? snack lodge? No, I haven't heard that. No, I actually did hear that one. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that is not, that's not why we're here. Okay. That's not why we're here, okay. Miss Shelby. Okay. Miss Shelby Ripple. We're here because of a, a rumor mm. that you, mm-hmm. in your farmer's market stand... I did not put extra ingredients... In that pie, those people passed out on their own. There were no roofies. There were no roofies in the mulberry pie. Miss Shelby, that wasn't even the rumor we knew about. What? To what? To Miss what? Shelby, it's, it's about time that I have to tell you that this is actually not a podcast. It is a police interrogation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and ah. Miss Shelby, no. we, we have uh, hard evidence... Yes, in cahoots. It's uh, actually kind of the perfect Luna. name to get you in a sting operation. <laughs> we have hard evidence 
that there was a big toe of a Vance Lee oh, Joseph in Corby. after the DNA test Corby. inside a bushel of your strawberries that you grew. You caught me. Vance used to do a lot of seesawing and saucy, and he was building a clubhouse for my boy. And he happened to actually saw off his toe when it got into the strawberries. You know how it is. So you, you saw it went into the strawberries. So he went into the strawberries. And you didn't take it out of the strawberries before you sold them to the lovely Miller family. Corby the Millers are boring. They need something to shake up their sham and lamb and damn and lamb and ding dongs. They've been they've been winning that pie contest for too long, and it was time it was time for them to get some strawberries. They weren't gonna win the pie contest. Now where they can't win with a toe in them, can ya? Can ya Millers? And guess who did win the mulberry pie that did not have roofies. It did not contain that or a gluten-free crust, I do not believe in that. As much as I admire your stance against a gluten-free crust, hmm. did you just tell me, now if I'm piecing this together... Are you a detect? What are you, a cop? I am a cop. I literally said I was a cop. In cahoots, police force. Yeah. Sis. Uh-huh. And I can't get out of this with like beans, peas, crocuses, rocuses, roach, Miss Miss Shelby. The evidence that we have against you is that you not only murdered your boyfriends, who have not been seen since they were coming from your garden. They went on a road trip together. All of them. They, yeah, they had a lot in common. They didn't like me. Not only have we not seen your boyfriends. Okay. But also. Okay. There was a toe in the strawberry pie for the Miller family who you are known to be arch nemesis with nemesis with nemesis ne- nemesis yum yes said so so that you mm-hmm. could win the annual october pie competition is it illegal to put a toe in someone's strawberries officer yes actually oh well and then. it is also illegal to kill that the but, person okay. who previously owned that toe. That makes sense, I suppose. Well, thank you for coming on the podcast slash interrogation. Thank you for having me, and, Corby, uh, Officer Corby. We look forward to seeing you in court. I will thrive in court. I'll bring the pie. All right. Karma just got done with her set, so she'll be right back. And uh, stay tuned.